Aposto que eu ainda não sei se está a ganhar o que eu estou a ganhar. Mas está a ganhar o que eu estou a ganhar. Não está a ganhar o que eu estou a ganhar. Não está a ganhar o que eu estou a ganhar. Não está a ganhar o que eu estou a ganhar. Não está a ganhar o que eu estou a ganhar. Não está a ganhar o que eu estou a ganhar. Não está a ganhar o que eu estou a ganhar. Não está a ganhar o que Barulah aku nak apostol cuingga, bar apostol cuingga. Karena macam tu belum nak ngari. Wei, ini mah buge, ini mah guar. Tu furra ini mah guar. Bar apostol cuingga, aku pesa kau ni orang kau pesa ni orang kau juga. Asyik tu buaya kau ada bayi biras. Ini semua tu challenge aku piu apa nak? Ini nanti aku cakap dia aku cakap. Ati tu kau ni, tu cakap macam bayi bir, tu dia ringgeran. Finally that you responded. But you did not mention my name. The people who are still attacking me today, they say Juenga is now called a my. Where have you ever heard this? Hey, it's after all, it's true. Where have we ever heard this? Spiritual mother. <laughs> Spiritual mother. Am I? Because I'm not going to be able to say that. We have got God as our father. As I'm not going to say our mother is. I'm not going to say that. Because I'm not going Watu nusu zaidi sisi sumka zaidi sisi ichech, but anyway, rigeti wanzi. Kudaira kwa kaja ba kama kudaira ni ungo tuka, inzae muzi. I think it's accounting, it's unbiblical. Well, 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 well. How can we come for this age vivo? I respond mentioning your name. Ni kuti ni watu ra ba birako, owia, ba ziko media, zimu ai o any platform. Where I will show you, Kutu Wakarasika, you are a false apostle. Let us out in Soya Kuyakarasika, let's tell you Kuyakarasika, message you Kuyakarasika. A couple of days ago, Apostle T.F. Chiwenga responded to critics like Brother Howard Nyoni, who were criticizing him over his controversial motherhood doctrine. For those who are new on this channel, Apostle T. F. Chiwenga introduced what is called a motherhood doctrine. It is opposed to the spiritual fatherhood. He claims that he is a mother to all those who follow him, who subscribe to his gospel, or those who gave their lives to Jesus Christ after hearing the teachings that he gave. So he says, I am your mother. I bathed you in Jesus Christ. On the contrary, that is exactly the same thing that you are not to my spiritual father. That's exactly what they will be saying. Why not I bathed you in Christ? So I am also a spiritual father. So I'm gonna teach you. Ingori ni angoto yana ngaiti ni ni mumuna na makada iso. But you go in the same direction. But ingori ni yana ngaiti na skufafa ni rodi abu kufafa na na kufafa ni angundeka. Fascist the doctrine and labels it as heretic. In defense to this criticism, Apostle T.F. Chuenga does not say much to defend the doctrine itself, but he attacks Brother Awatinyoni in a subtle way, not mentioning his name, but we know that he's talking about Brother Awatinyoni. And he says all those who are opposed to him and the doctrine that he's teaching, they are feeble-minded, which means they are sick in the head. Manorwara nefumba. This is the world of the feeble-minded I'm talking about. The narrow-minded, the because... <laughs> Brother Awat Nyoni has always been open to debates. Countless times, he has called for an open debate with Apostle T.F. Chuenga. Even though Apostle T.F. Chuenga poses... Those are right, our Apostle Chuenga, Mazuaka, Tang. Why did you say that he's narrow? But he was not a child, he's wrong, or too good, or no pain. There's someone who is open to debate with Brother Awat Nyoni, or anyone else. His actions, they prove otherwise. Brother Awat Nyoni applied when the Dare Guru was launched through the protocols that were laid out by the Jesus Revelation Ministries. But for reasons only known to JRM and Apostle Chwenga, he was never admitted. Yeah, In know. this video, know. Brother Awat Nyoni exposes the bias and selective application of scriptures by Apostle T.F. Chwenga. And I call it a bias and selective application because he really applies the scriptures selectively. You responded on the issue of the motherhood, or you are the mother of the church. Mm. And I should have thought that in your response, you were going to be biblically inclined, which I tell you that would be by the real But how, what was your response? As usual, when you are responding to me, because you know, you know, 
Challenge you. And you have to do it. I'm not going 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 to do it. Yeah, I, don't so now, I want to show you something from what you call the motherhood issue. First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7. You know, to you, as a mother nursing her children, we came to you. The word as is an, yeah, an example. Yeah, this is suggesting that it's a what is a metaphor. Yeah, this is now in a metaphor, you don't construct a what. A, 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 a out of a metaphor. Yes. As a mother nursing <laughs> your children. As a mother, so now, what is it what you did in this very same chapter? First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7. You used as a mother nursing your children. What did you leave? The same people, you didn't take them. First Thessalonians chapter two, same chapter, I see different verse, verse eleven. You know the For you know that we father. dealt with each of you Came as a father. For his children. Mm. So first Thessalonians chapter two, verse seven. You call yourself a mother because the Bible says that. That is the NIV version. Because yeah. verse eleven, you know the Greek word and not as, as a, a father, father caring yeah. for his children. Yeah. It's a question. Today, very short and accurate. Only pin down. Eh. But why do you selectively pick verses? It's not a suit to be selfish agenda. Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to those which call or refute your agenda, how are they ringing? Saka kana makanjua akara sika sewe akati iwe we washani sa first Thessalonians chapter two verse seven. In the Bible, so easy. Shaka kuti kui urimai. Ko inini mikashani sa first Thessalonians chapter two verse eleven. When the Bible, why we should pick it? Eh. Hey, hey, why? So why? You are both lost. 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 Of course, but you are both lost. They are both lost. lost. And this is here. But in the room, that is. So good, I got lost. I got the chair. That's not an issue. But it's good. You are going to sit in verse 11. There are no shandies. As we will go, as a chance of verse 12. Can I didn't know chance of verse 7 yet? You are a chance of verse 12. You do what I can say. Why would you not be the one who shuts up on my face? You would cheat on the same thing. That's the question. Eh? Why don't you tell them that you are a father also? Because the same chapter which you read, first it says in chapter 2, verse 11, you know, as a father caring for his children, why do you leave it? Wakarasika. <laughs> so I am here to tell you that you are a false apostle. One. Aushanti, we offer the true apostle in the Bible. I know in the name of Apostle Paul, he says, I have showed you that you should be a good person. And you want to pray, and you help the poor. You want to send a good. I don't know why I could be. Could you get a man to store a man's album? I am a suit. I want to ask around it and my quack. X chapter 18, verse 3. Apostle Paul was a tent maker by profession. Thank you. Tell me what you think about this in the comment section. And I'll be glad to hear your thoughts on it. Kindly like, kindly share, and kindly subscribe. Kindly subscribe.